Good morning to everybody. We welcome you to our Grade 1 online open day. Um, as always, it's a pleasure to have you all with us. My name is Evan Kokonas. I am the Deputy Principal in the Primary School. Uh, my, my portfolio essentially is Student Affairs. Now, before we do any introductions, um, we would first like to show you a virtual video which is pertaining to the Grade 1s that will be coming to Saheti next year for the year 2021. Um, just for now, please observe a number of house rules. Keep your microphones on mute. Keep your video cameras off as well. Unless there are any questions, you can either raise your hand or you can type it into the conversation. All right. Uh, once you need to ask a question on that, by all means, you may unmute your microphone. Thank you. Please enjoy our virtual tour. Alexis, Vice Principal of the Foundation Phase. In our phase, we offer three core subjects, literacy, numeracy, and life skills. We also offer coding, which we integrate into the numeracy curriculum as it lends itself to the subject. In addition, we do chess in term two, as we believe that chess teaches strategic and critical thinking. My name is Alexia Pissar. I am the sports coordinator for grade one to three at Saheti. I'm a past student and very proudly part of the Saheti sporting team. With the grade one, we offer sports two times in the afternoon and once during school time. We touch on all the sports that are offered by the school and we teach the little ones how to be introduced to the sports at an early age. We touch on basketball, soccer, netball, swimming, the fundamentals of swimming, the beginners to the advanced, to T-ball, to athletics, to everything that will be offered in their senior phase. My name is Yanni Kontaksis. I'm the Greek dancing teacher at Sahedi School. And we are doing, for grade ones, Greek dancing during school once a week for academic program. And we also have Europe after school once a week. So let's take a look inside. Athena Clayton and I'm the educational psychologist working with the foundation phase. Since its inception, SETI has prioritized the development of the whole child. This is done in the form of practical and experiential workshops, which are held with each grade. Our intention in these workshops is to develop emotional awareness, strengthen social bonds and nurture self-confidence. The psychology department also offers short-term solution-focused therapy, where if a child is struggling, with a difficult emotion, they can come for a therapeutic process where they are taught to understand their emotions and learn specific strategies to tackle these emotions and to understand them a little bit better. My name is Kaludis Nkiludis and I'm the Vice Principal of the Greek Studies in the primary school. The Greek language forms part of the ethos and culture of our school and learning Greek 
is one of the unique opportunities that your child will be afforded at Sehedi. On the Greek learning journey, all learners are taught language, all dances, music, religion, and will partake in many celebrations and presentations. Greek is taught to all learners on three levels. Advanced level for children who are most fluent, intermediate level for children who have a reasonable command of the language, and ordinary level which caters for predominantly non-Greek speaking children or children of Greek descent with limited knowledge of the language. What a privilege it is for each learner to be exposed to this beautiful language and its rich heritage. I welcome you and your child to our school. We are motto, Gnotis Apton, Know Thyself, is the compass that navigates your child's development into a character system. All right. Thank you very much to Mr. Harper for the video. I would just like to ask if everybody could please mute their microphone as we are receiving some feedback as well, which becomes a little bit problematic in terms of uh, in terms of uh, the, the delivery. Another thing to mention to you is that um, we. We've, we've experienced a little bit of lagging and it's just unfortunate that when it comes to technology that sometimes it's let us down when we're most reliant on it. But in any case, the virtual video will still be made available on the YouTube as well as on the school's website and as well as on this actual chat, which is the grade one welcome chat. Um, let us continue now with our introductions. The first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce the four homeroom teachers of grade one. And upon that introduction, uh, Mrs. Daniela Barbosa, who is the great controller of grade one, would like to address you very briefly. So our grade one teachers for this year will be is Mrs. Michelle Moll. If you can just show your face a bit, please. Hello, Thank everybody. You, Mrs. Moll. Mrs. Margarita Mavrocordatu. Okay, we still haven't had, we're still waiting for Mrs. Mavrocordatos, but whilst we wait for her to, to appear, Mrs. Gabriela Kruger. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see you. Thank you, Mrs. Kruger. And our great controller, who is Mrs. Barbosa. Welcome, Mrs. Barbosa. And I think it's a good opportunity for you to to address the grade one parents that have joined us this morning. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Daniela Barbosa and I'm the grade one grade controller. My role is to ensure that all our children are engaged holistically, progressing positively, and that our academic offering is current and appropriate. We uniquely in include coding and chess in our numeracy curriculum. And in addition, we also include a stretch, core and reinforce program to accommodate learners of all abilities. Um, any grievances within the grade are handled by me and then referred to Mrs. Kalatis if need be. And grade one is a year filled with adventures in learning, excitement and growth. And we are very excited and we can't wait to meet the new little learners of grade one 2021. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Mrs. Barbosa. Um, I'd like to now introduce Kiria Litsa Evangelou. She is the Foundation Face Coordinator for the Greek language and the Greek subject. Welcome, Kiria Litsa. Um, Kiria Lisa, could you please introduce yourselves again? Uh, the, unfortunately, the microphone was muted. Welcome again. Uh, hold on a second. So, 
sorry, we seem to have a few technical glitches on my side as well. But yeah, Kalimera Seolus, that means good morning to everyone. Que calo sirtate, welcome to our virtual open day. Thank you very much, Kirialita. Moving on to our head of sport, Mr. Warren Metza. Welcome, Mr. Metza. Hello, Mr. Kokinas. Warren Metza here. Hello, everybody. It was really nice to see Coach Alexia and Coach Emmanuel on the field with the Grade Ones. Um, I'm head of sport for Grades One through Seven. Our vision is to inspire children to develop a lifelong passion for sport. And our philosophy is to create safe, fun and stimulating programs for all levels of athletic ability. To that end, we have competitive team, team structures and non-team participation programs for our students. Sport is a compulsory requirement for grades one through seven. As Alexia mentioned in the video, we have a PE period every week. It's a double period and it lasts one hour. The sport offerings are on a Monday and Thursday. The grade ones are from 1.30 to 2.15 and the grade twos are from 2.30 to 3.50. We have mini athletics, basketball, cricket, t-ball, netball and soccer. And swimming is our primary activity for term one and three. And all our instructors are learn to swim instructors. We have four full time PE teachers and eight coaches that assist with the program. We have four houses which compete in inter-house uh, programs throughout the year. We do an inter-house athletics and swimming program, and we also do basketball, netball, and soccer inter-house programs. Our special events, we have tours, clinics, um, uh, we have a winter festival. We host all sorts of trials for the region, for the Edenvale Cricket Association, the Janusburg Primary School Football Association, and we host the Discovery Cup Soccer Festival. We also have orientation days, we will be inviting you to a grade one open day where you'll get to see your kids uh, involved uh, and learn more about our program early next year. Uh, our first aid, we have a nurse on campus for any injuries, a registered nurse named Sister Sarah, and I myself am attending a level two first aid course today, uh, as well as Werner Janser von Rensburg, our other head of sport in the high school. Uh, so we're very proud of that program if there are any, in, any injuries and a number of our coaches are on level one. So that's it from me, Mr. Kotnas, over to you. Thank you very much, Mr. Metza. When um, she was very briefly introduced during our video, I'd like to call on, there we go, and she's very eager to address you all. Welcome, Mrs. <laughs> Debbie Kalatsis. She is our Vice Principal um, of the Foundation Phase, Grade 1 to Grade 3. Welcome again, Mrs. Kalatsis. Thank you, Mr. Kokonas, and welcome, everybody. Good morning. I oversee the Grade 1 to 3s in the Foundation Phase to ensure that there's gradual progression between grades and that the ac academics are both innovative and current. We position ourselves internationally by using international benchmark tests in maths and English from grade three level onwards. We'll also be sending out a PDF. We normally hand out a hard copy of guidelines, but due to COVID-19, um, these guidelines will be sent out in PDF form to all the grade R parents. Um, they are our guidelines for grade one. Please be sure to read the document as it includes school times, uniform, and all the necessary information for the start of grade one. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Mrs. Kalatis. Now, before I introduce you to Mrs. Zahariyo, I'd also like to mention to you that on this panel, although not formally introduced because of previous introductions in the previous videos, and that we've also got um, Mrs. Nicola Palmer, who is our admission secretary, she'll be sitting as well, should there be any questions, as well as our psychologist in the foundation phase, Ms. Athena Clayton. All right. Um, what I wanted to say to you was, um, yes, last and certainly not least, it is the captain of the ship, all right, um, our the principal of the primary school, Ms. Sophia Zaharia. Welcome, ma'am. Thank you, Kira Vangeli. Um, good morning, everyone. Kalimera Seolus. Before I just have a few words with you, I just want to just speak about Kira Vangeli because Kira Vangeli has taken over the role of introducing all of us, and we need to introduce Kira Vangeli as well. Mm -hmm. Kira Vangeli is our Vice Principal of Student Affairs from Grade 1 to Grade 7. He 
takes care and nurtures the well-being of each child in the sense of being a responsible and respectful citizen in our school. And, and I'm not paying just lip service right now, but his care, his authenticity and the way he manages bullying issues and discipline issues, you will find yourself and your child just grow from the situation and feel always heard, feel comforted, and there's a sense of always um, honesty and truth that comes through it. So I, I just want to say thank you for being part of the team and thank you for holding that part, which is so important in our school. And thank you to the whole team for um, speaking this morning. It's my privilege. Moms and dads, I welcome you and hopefully, okay, and gain your support to entrust us, to educate, to care, to nurture, and most importantly, to love your child for the next 12 years. It is a, a huge, huge responsibility when you choose a school because it's not just a place of being able to learn and to pick up skills. It's a place that actually forms character the character of the person that we call citizens of one's country. And when you're selecting a school, right, a lot of thought goes into it. And you, you're, the school for your child needs to be the home for your child. And I truly believe our team, we as a team, try and create that activity. We call ourselves Sehetians. So from the moment your child comes into us, School, they become a Sahetian. And our aim, like all, all private schools and hopefully all schools, no matter where they are, is to make children feel happy and to extend them and to allow them to feel supported and safe in the environment. At Sahet, we particularly focus on creating and giving our children the opportunity to be critical thinkers, creative thinkers, bold thinkers, courageous thinkers, and to have the confidence to speak up ethically and with dignity and respect. Those are key values in today's society because knowledge happens. And if anything, we've understood that with, the, with COVID and with lockdown, no matter where you were in the world, education continued online. But what online education missed that on-site education gives is that sense of connection, the ability to share thoughts, the ability to communicate, to feel that sense of belonging. And online, there is no sense of belonging. Online, you become part of everybody else. Whereas when you go to a school, you belong to a school. It's like you belong to your family. And that is what if you had to ask me, and I've been in education for 38 years, what does Seheti give its children? Seheti gives its children the sense of belonging. It gives its children an identity. It gives its children rnothi safton, know thyself. And what would my wish be as your head of the school for its children? My wish would be that we create caring and kind children because those are two qualities that i believe our world so desperately needs and they say unless knowledge is transformed into wisdom and wisdom is expressed in character education is a wasteful process and your child's learning in our school will provide both wisdom and character Welcome to an amazing place, which we call Sahet. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Zach. Um, let's try it again with Mrs. Mavrokordatos. Um, Mrs. Mavrokordatos, let's introduce you to our parents. Welcome. Good morning, Mr. Kokonas. Thank you for reintroducing me. Sorry, my microphone wouldn't open earlier. Hello, everybody. Great. Thank you very much. Mrs. Pavrokordatos, like Mrs. Evangelo and myself, 
And I, I just hope I haven't omitted anybody. Uh, we are past pupils. We really do believe in the school. Mrs. Zahadi or Mrs. Kalatsis have had their children. That have actually, all of them have matriculated from here. We really do believe in the school and we do believe that you have made the correct decision. Um, I see that there was a question that was asked in case you, you need to knock off earlier. All of this content is currently being recorded and it will be made available on this chat to answer that question. I think we can start with our round of questions. If anybody would like to either type up or if you would like to raise your hand um, with any questions that you'd like to, to ask with our parents, our, our incoming parents. Any questions or um, I only see one that has been asked in the chat, which I hope hopefully I have addressed. Are there any questions from the grade one parents of next year? Hmm. Tough crowd. Come out, come out wherever you are. Any questions or have we answered everything? OK. I see no questions have been posed. I'd just like to ask Mrs. Zahadio to advise. Mrs. Zahadio, if there are no questions that are posed, shall we adjourn? Mums, mums and dads, are you all fine? <laughs> are, we, um, are we okay? Oh, there we go. Here, there's something over here. There is a question over here. Let me come to this over here because it looks like, all right. Um, Dr. Eleni Wood has asked the question, are the numbers of children in classes going to change due to COVID-19? I think Mrs. Kalatsis or Mrs. Barbosa, could, could one of you please answer the question of Dr. Panagatopoulos, please? Uh, I can do. Um, so just to speak to our normal class sizes at grade one, we certainly cap our numbers at 25 under normal circumstances. Um, obviously, we cannot predict what's going to happen at the beginning of the year. Um, we take it one step at a time. But at the moment, we have 16 children on campus and the balance of the class is online. So we are lucky enough to have a three week with one week online cycle. So they are with us for the majority of the term on campus. Uh, that answers your question. Thank you very much. There is a question over here from uh, Mr. Michael Govender. Will there be a continuation of the online platform into the future, you know, pertaining to Saheti? I think maybe uh, Mrs. Kalatis, perhaps you could uh, refer to this, please. Mrs. Zachary, Zach can also speak right. to that, yeah. Um, but obviously, it's very unpredictable at this stage. Mrs. Zach, do you want to come in there as well? So, so like I always say to our staff, and I mean, I speak to our parents, I say, you know what, we are chasing a moving target the whole time. Hopefully, hopefully, um, we can resume on site, complete on site learning as of January 2021. Should we not be able to go on to the on-site, um, complete on-site, we're going to continue with our current model, which is our concurrent rotational model, which is extremely effective. Uh, and then, you, you know what, should anything happen or should anything change, we're going to put the necessary measures again in place. Thank you, Mrs. Zach. Are there any other questions, please? Are there any other questions? I see that a lot of the parents have actually concurred that they seem to be satisfied, but by all means, it's a good opportunity to ask questions. Um, let's see what we've got here. Something um, Mr. Kokonas, can I just yes, say if they do have questions and they that they do happen to come up with, they're welcome to email us. Um, mm -hmm at Saheti and we will definitely get back to them. So yeah, if they do have something that comes up, you know, while they think about the day or whatever, um, we are more than willing to, yeah, they can just email us dcolatsis at Saheti or dbarbosa at saheti.co.za. All right. Okay. One, one more Should question. Should I pop just... those email addresses on the chat? 
Yes, please do so. I see okay. that there's a question that's being asked by one of my old classmates. All right, and one of my old classmates asks, when do the children find out who the child, who the, 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 the teachers of the of the pupils will be? Uh, Mrs. Kalatis or Mrs. Okay. Barbosa? Yes, I can. Um, the the um, classes are allocated at the pre-primary level in grade R by the grade R teachers and Mrs. Barkley. I don't know, I think she is on with us. Angela, if you want to come in there as well in terms of class allocations and class lists. Sure. Good morning. Um, so what we do is we, I sit with the grade R teachers and we, we don't make it teacher, we try and make the process as fair as possible. So um, ordinarily when we, we, last year I had some parents coming in requesting specific teachers and to make the process fair and transparent, we don't allow for that. So the teachers sit and we see how many grade R teachers, how many classes we've got. The children, we divide the children equally amongst the classes. We look at various aspects in our division of the children. Um, then I sit and I allocate the teacher to the group. We look at it again and then we make those lists available to uh, Debbie and Sophia, and we also then meet with the grade one teachers to discuss further before anything is finalized. Great, I hope that answers the question. Thank you, Mrs. Barkley. Thank you, Mrs. Kalatsis. Peter Katakazina, it's always good to see you. There's another question over here. When will the book lists be sent out to the parents? Now, from okay, my experience, I, that, yes, by all means, go for it. Sorry, I can also answer. Um, they are in the process of being finalised with Waltons, um, and then book lists will be sent to the Grade R group. Um, can I just at this point say that stationery is optional and you can buy your stationery anywhere, but we do have a compulsory book pack because we print our books specially with dotted third lines. So the book pack is compulsory through the school and you will be able to pay on the carry app, but all the information will come to you in a letter. Okay. May I just add, sorry, can I just add something um, to our parents and everyone? Due to COVID and the way we had to shift education, um, there are many areas where we've revisited and we've had, and we've really, us, we've need, we need to change. We need to change it. So that also applies to the book packs. There mm. might be, we've had to revisit and there are certain um, stationery that we find is just not necessary anymore. We can accommodate it in a, in a very different way. So just, just please just be patient with us just a little longer because we're trying to see how our concurrent model is um, being phased in. And with that in mind, and with things that could possibly, could possibly is the word here, happen next year, we try and to anticipate everything and create a, a book pack that will speak to 2021. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, what I would like to say, um, just absolutely for clarity, uh, thank you very much to Mrs. Kalatis and to Kiri Alitsa. Uh, Mrs. Kalatis has posted the, the email addresses, her email address, as well as that of Mrs. Barbosa, who is the grade one grade controller, for any queries that you may have pertaining to those departments. As far as the Greek goes, the Greek department, our head of the Greek department in the foundation phase, Kiri Alitsa Evangelou, has posted her email address should you have any queries with her and it's levangelo at seheti.co.za. Are there any other questions, please? Kira Vangeli, can I just yes. speak to our transition program to our parents? Yes, yes of course. Um, moms and dads, as I don't know if you're aware, but we have a very thorough and a, and a very um, encompassing orientation and transition program for our grade one parents and our grade one um, children. Due to the social distancing that we need to adhere to, we've had to, we've had to put that on hold. What we're trying to, because what we would do is we would have the children over, they would spend a few hours in grade one and we'd have sort of about four visits of that nature before the end of the year. So it comes 2021, they'd feel totally comfortable coming into the, the classrooms, they'd feel comfortable with the teachers, 
they'd know the space, they know where the toilet is, like basic things like that, that we found that children would have concerns over in the first few days. So what we're going to try and do is find a way in how we can manage bringing them in perhaps very small units across into the school where we're not going to have the other children around so that we can still have um, our new children being climatized into grade one and two safety. Again, we just need patience. We've never done this before. We are working with a COVID task team to see how can we get, how can we make this happen? But just please be aware there's a lot of things that are just changing that we have had, we have no template for these changes. So just whatever we can do, we are going to do, because what is vital for you and for our children and for us is to have our grade ones come into our property before January 2021 next year. All this communication hopefully will come your way by mid-October. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much, Mrs. Zach. There is another question. The question uh, pertains to grade one readiness. And the question reads this, for the children that are currently in grade R at Saheti, how will they be assessed at the assessment for grade one readiness, considering the time that has been spent at home doing online learning? Um, I'm not sure if it's um, Ms. Clayton, Mrs. Kalanis. Mrs. Barkley. Angela put her hand up, she can answer that. Thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Barkley. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so every child in every grade in every part of the school, um, lockdown has had an effect on, on them and their learning. Uh, I need to commend my grade R teachers for making sure that the curriculum has continued regardless of the, of the lockdown. And, and it has been different, but we've been able to keep up with many of the things that need to be covered. During this term, on the 3rd and the 10th of October, we've got our children coming in to meet their, their teachers just to have some one-on-one -on -one time. Um, as part of our uh, continued assessment process. We decided that the children wouldn't be getting reports in term two because we didn't think that any form of assessment online would be a fair process. Then what's going to happen is there, if there are any children that be concerned about with their readiness going into grade R, um, we will then recommend a screening that is done by our school psychologist, Natalie, um, Natalie Palm. But our, our hope is that our children will all be promoted to grade one next year. But obviously, we've also got to be real, realistic where children have had, where there have been concerns prior to lockdown. And we want to make sure that these children are fully equipped to, to move forward. And sometimes the screening process is not just a, to, uh, to determine whether they go or not, but really just how can we or what can we put in place to support their child in, or a child in their learning journey. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Mrs. Barkley. There is another question. I just want to open that up again. The, the question that has been posed is, are we as parents able to have a tour of the new school on the weekend? Um, yeah. I think for now. All right. Um, I think um, Christine and Anna, perhaps you could answer yes. that. Nicola? Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. The question is... Yes, good morning, um, everybody. Yes, certainly we could arrange that if, if need necessary. You just need to contact us and we could arrange that. Great. Are there any other questions? Let's say... Um, Mr. Kokonas, if I can just step in here for a second. Please do. Um, I'd like to also just let the parents know that part of our procedure is we work quite closely with the Greek educators in the nursery school. When the time comes for us to determine uh, which level of Greek your child will be attending in grade one, it's a process by which I'll follow again. And I'll be stepping in and doing an, an informal uh, assessment of the children to see where they're uh, most appropriately fitted in terms of the levels of Greek, advanced, intermediate or ordinary. Obviously, if there are any, you'll be informed of that towards the end of the year. And if there are any um, requirements that you feel that your child should be in another level, we are very, very open to that as well. So that will definitely be communicated with you once the assessment procedure has been completed. Um, yeah, so that's on my side. Great. Any other questions from parents? 
All right. Is there anything that any member of staff would like to add, given what has been discussed this morning? Well, I think we're actually good to go. Like we said, um, what I would like to say to you is if you have, the email addresses have been posted on this chat over here, you can certainly refer to the videos that will be on the website. Um, as well as on the YouTube channel, as well as on this chat over here, should you have any questions, um, any, um, should you want to wish to familiarize yourself with anything that has already been shown or has been discussed this morning. Um, what I wanted to say to you was, um, it's, yeah, it's, I think we can actually, we can um, start closing off. We thank you, every every single one of you, we thank you for joining us. Thank you to our staff members that availed themselves to, to and also to allowing themselves to be, to familiarise with the new parents as well. New parents, I'm going to uh, enunciate this clearly. You really made a very good, very strong decision by entrusting your children to us. Um, we wish you all well. May you all enjoy your, your weekend further and by all means, please be safe and be healthy. All right, I think we can start closing off. Thank you very much for joining us and have a good weekend. Thank you, Mr. Kokonas. We appreciate you, you doing that for us and looking forward to having our new grade ones. <laughs>